Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Minecraft 1.14 Let's Play. Hope you guys are all doing well today. I'm doing fantastic. Today is episode 11 and I've got a great episode planned for you. But before we can get into the video, we got a new question of the day. But today is actually a challenge of the day. That's right. What's a challenge of the day, you ask? Well, I am challenging you to do something good in your life for somebody else i want to hear your stories down in the comment section below it could be as much as opening a door taking out the trash for somebody complimenting them let's hear those good deeds guys i want to know i want to know something about you in your life that you've done so if you guys enjoy this series and you want to see more make sure you hit the like button subscribe and turn on notifications for when the videos come out let's get into it all right guys so to get started with today's episode we are starting off in the nether now i wanted to do the question of the day a little bit different today because i always get so much support from you guys and it's so humbling and i just want other people in their lives to feel what i feel on a daily basis so i think that you guys should give compliments uh and, and and just be nice to other people in your life that would be fantastic but i actually do have a, a question of the day for you my question for you is how do you find my videos more specifically how did you find this series did you search something on youtube if you did search it let me know what the you know the search terms were things like that that'd be a, a really big help to me guys so thank you so much uh but we're actually in the nether today because i just got done mining and my pickaxe is doing terrible. So I'm mining quartz because quartz gives so much good XP and I can just so easily repair my pickaxe and kill two birds with one stone. Uh, so as I had mentioned, I went caving. Now I only went caving for about 25 minutes or so. Uh, I was over caving. I just, what I, you know, some days you're feeling caving. Some days you're just like, I am not for this. <laughs> and today was one of those days where I was not for it, but, uh, I do have some footage to show you. So when we, um, when I cut, I'm going to go ahead and show you that. And I also asked discord this time for some questions of the day now, or not for questions of the day, but for questions for that. So if you guys want to join the discord, we have a very awesome discord community. You can find the link uh, for that in the description, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and play the Q&A guys and I'll be back. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this mining Q&A session. So for the settings for this Q&A, uh, I am still working on the perfect settings for the speed up. So uh, bear with me if it's a little bit unbearable. I'm working on it. So my first question comes from Meanie and she asks, what is your favorite thing to build in Minecraft? So my favorite thing to build in Minecraft is uh, two things, actually farms. I love building farms, but uh, on top of that, I love building farms with options. What does that mean? So say I build a zombie farm. I love to build a zombie farm that has like a crusher, a way to kill them with your sword, a way to turn the lights off so you can turn it on and off. I love all of those little aspects of the spawners and the farms and, you know, the whatever it may be. Those are my favorite things to build in Minecraft, and I think that's pretty apparent. <laughs> the next question comes from Redneck, and he asks, when do you know when it is time to stop something on YouTube? So I think this is going to get a lot of uh, interesting feedback because... When it comes to stopping series on YouTube, that is like one of the f most forbidden things on the planet, apparently, because, you know, there's a few people out there that will love the series. There's a few people out there that won't even watch it. Um, and if it's your business, then you kind of need to think of, well, is this video paying for the amount of time uh, either, you know, whether it's views or whatever specific trait that you're looking for with that video. Um, a lot of the times it all boils down to how long did the video take to make? Is it worth your time to keep making that video? Sometimes it's better to cut a series because it's not giving your channel the boost you think it deserves. Um, but again you're always you're ne oh, the way i should say this is you're never going to be able to please everybody so you need to make the best decisions that you think are going to be for your channel so if you're going to cut a series maybe think about it first but you know really give it some <clears throat> excuse me give it some thought uh my next question comes from uh what the w i almost said i almost said a bad word there wtf gaming he asks what do you think uh why is minecraft so popular as it is 
Um, Minecraft is one of those things where it was a fun game to start with, right? It's still a fun game, but <clears throat> it had the YouTube juice is what I like to call, right? So take a really popular thing and then multiply it by another popular thing by 500 times more. What do I mean by that? Well, Minecraft was fun and it already had that addiction factor, right? You play it, you're addicted for life, right? But it also had scene enters, X plays Minecraft, Yogg's cast, throwing that juice into the pile, right? All of those mixed up together and it's just like sham, shazam, and it's like the best game ever. I think that's why Minecraft is as popular as it is. Uh, he also asks what attracts new players to it even after all these years. Content. Content on YouTube is a huge, huge thing. Another thing uh, with Minecraft is word of mouth. Um, so let's talk about content first. Well, you're on YouTube, you're on Twitch. You see a recommended video for Minecraft. You're like, what the heck is that? You click on it and you're like, oh my God, this is pretty much the coolest game ever. Or there's the route of the people that like really discredit the game, but then they're like, they play it once and they love it for forever. <laughs> um, but then other th another thing is, is that um, with word of mouth, right? Everybody knows somebody that plays Minecraft, whether it be a cousin, a brother, a son, a daughter, a father. Um, and you've never really given the game a chance, but you see them playing and you're like, oh my God, that is amazing. <laughs> so I think that's one of the reasons why. Um, next up, I got a question from somebody named James. James asks, would you given the ch if given the chance vacation on the moon for a month or more? Absolutely. I would be absolutely terrified to go up there in the spaceship, but I think it would be worth it. That Imagine being like, oh, dude, what did you do last month? Uh, you know, went to the moon, hung out, did some rocky things. <laughs> I, I think that would just be so much fun, right? Like that's an experience of a lifetime. That's not something that other people can do. So 1000% would do it yes um okay so rob asks another question uh how did a game that someone just placing blocks become the most sold game ever so rob is talking about minecraft sales statistics minecraft just passed tetris for the most sold game of all time that's ridiculous um and again i think it all just boils back to everything going into that middle pot right like we've got this big cauldron and we've got like content creators um you know like mumbo jumbo and green but we have servers and then we have streamers and then we have word of mouth and then game popularity and that all of that equals one big bowl of success right so that i think that's why it, it just keeps selling and selling and selling not to mention microsoft daddy microsoft owns it now so i'm ass i'm assuming there's a lot of advertising for the game so uh guys i think that's probably going to go ahead and do it for this q a i hope that you enjoyed the questions and if you want to ask some feel free to put them in the comments so let's go to move on all right guys so a lot has happened since the q a my god i have been busy so first and foremost i trapped two zombie villagers this took an extraordinary amount of time i want to say upwards of like two hours i could not get them to spawn i ran around here killing every single mob look at all the stuff in my inventory this is like the third drop off that i have done to get these guys so now that we finally have these i want to go ahead and convert them so what we do is we splash them then we give them an apple so just like so now the reason i'm doing this is because while i was mining I'm like, dude, this is terrible. I should just make a zombie spawn or a golem spawner, uh, iron golem spawner to be exact. Um, and so what we're going to do today is we are going to start the process of getting that done. There's a lot of good designs out there and I want to take advantage of those while we still can. And I got to be honest with you guys, man, if you're, if you're trying, oh, the sound is really loud. If you're trying to make, uh, something with villagers, just move the villagers yourself waiting for these guys to spawn is not time efficient. So I'm gonna block these off real fast. There we go. So basically the first thing that we need to do is we need to get a breeder going. Um, but I think what we're probably gonna do is put it in the air again, probably around level, well, let's see if we're on 60, we would probably wanna go up to about uh, 120. That way we um, 
can get the villagers bred up there it'll be pretty simple to move them up there this time we don't even need farmers we just need them to breed um once that's done then we can start setting up the golem spawner there's a very specific way that you have to set things up in 1.14 uh, and I'm going to be using Doc M's uh, spawner because you know, it seemed to work pretty well. So I've got a bit of work to do. And when I when I come back, we'll start that. All right, guys. So it's time to get building the platform. So I have been looking up different types of iron golem spawners for 1.14. And I think I'm just going to combine like four different designs into one because I can't really find one that I like that well. So um, to get started the middle platform is these four blocks right here that's very important to keep in mind for when the zombies or the i keep saying zombies when the golems are falling down so here's how this is going to work right we are going to have beds stacked right here so i'll have a bed place down and then i'll have a bed place down above that we're going to make that an eight by eight so we're gonna have quite a bit of beds and quite a bit of uh Ah, I said zombies again <laughs> we're gonna have quite a bit of uh people up here so let's go ahead and make that platform um so if this is the middle we want to go over two on each side there we go and then two out there we go so the way that zombies damn it I said it again the way that iron golem spawning works in 1.14 if I understand this correctly is that there has to be enough gossip from the villagers for the zombie to or for the golem to spawn so make if that makes sense to you because zombies talk to each other uh so let's see uh two four six uh so we need one more on each side it looks like that's six by six um so eventually once the villagers have built up enough gossip they will start to spawn the golems and so to do so you need enough uh, enough of it built up now another thing that you have to realize is that i'm learning with the villagers um how they work kind of on a schedule that's crazy i, I never knew that they did that right so um they can only spawn golems during certain times of the day i did not know that so two so let's see that's uh five eight so it looks like we're good to go we have an eight by eight platform so on this eight by eight platform we are going to go out an extra block here and this is going to be the rim around the platform right here um we'll have uh, a block here and then this is going to be the like the villagers work block so a composter for example uh then we'll have a bed stacked and then we'll have a bed stacked on top of that now um because it needs to be two beds it's gonna we're gonna go up one block um so let me break that <clears throat> so that way the zombies can't get out um now we could do this another way too we could put the beds underneath of the beds if that makes any sense where however we decide to stack them will be probably the best bet so we could put this down so i suppose if we wanted to we could put it on the lower version it doesn't really matter really um so we'll have the beds we'll have the composter then we'll have glass blocks so this will go all the way around um and so from there from that this block right here break that um so this is the outside rim block put a block here put a block here that's two spaces we're gonna have a fence gate on this block right here. This is taken from Il Mango's design. And then I'm gonna go out five more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. That is the space for the water. Um, that's where we're gonna put all of our water columns. Or not water columns, but like water spaces. There we go. So technically speaking, this would not be there. Um, but for me walking up here, it's going to be there. Uh, so now that we have our five we're gonna come one more block out and go over so now that we kind of know so it'll be like i think it's eight total so one one two one two three four five and then one so uh wall space space one two three four five wall now to get our boundary 
we're going to go over this way until we meet up there and that's going to give us the corner and we can build from there so one more looks like one more block there we go and go this way so i've already started collecting everything that i'm going to need but it's going to take a little while to get all the material built up for it there we go so then finally one last thing that i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to put this in the corner that way we have all of the water flowing so now that you kind of have a good idea of what this is going to entail, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start building this. Now, we are going to actually make another level of this too, but underneath of here where the beds are, it's just going to be um, just going to be a spawn platform, right? So we'll go down three blocks. Uh, the way that uh, the way that Il Mango had this on his he had it to where it was a space, space, glass, wall. So like the wall was like right there, basically giving it uh, three blocks in between for the golem to spawn. And then the golem was spawning in the pit. Now I'll make sure that that spacing is perfected, um, but I've got a, got a lot of work to get done. All right, guys. So I have been pretty busy, man. I put in a good amount of work uh, getting this thing set up and ready to run. Now, we won't be able to have golems spawning today because there's just too much work to do and I wanna do a little bit more besides this today. I know you guys kinda of get bored with the one topic things, so we're gonna to try to get some other stuff done. But I am placing these fence gates down because these are how we're going to block the water. There we go. So as you can see, I've gotten quite a bit already set up. I've got the entire top boundary finished. I've got all the beds in the middle in there finished. Let me go in here real fast. All the beds finished. <clears throat> and then uh, we're working on, we're gonna work on the water now. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough fence gates to finish this. Oh, I probably will actually, hopefully. All right, so let's go ahead and get the rest of these placed real fast. And um, I'll kind of explain the bottom layer a little bit, kind of let you get a better understanding of how that is going to work. So. The one thing that I'm not sure on statistical wise is the spawning space for golems. I do not know if they need three or four tall to spawn because the way that I was looking and uh, like I seen on like Il Mango's video and Doc's video, they had a pretty good space in there. Now the question that becomes is it three or four because if I do the way that I have it set up right now, I think it gives them four spaces, but I'm not sure. Um, right here, grab that. Okay, so finish this. Oh crap, hopefully that doesn't fall down. There we go. Place. All right, cool, so that's all finished. We can put the water in now. Now, if I go down and show you, this is what I'm talking about. This is how I came up. So I've already built it out right here, right? So let's see. This would be one. Now, when I was looking on Il Mango's video, he had one space, then another one, and so he could place the water in the corners. So that's one, two, three tall. Now, I don't know if that's going to be right or not. It may need to be down a block. If you guys have any clues uh, that can help me with that, that would be fantastic. So the final portion of the top part, besides getting the villagers up here, we just need to place our water in, which is going to be very, very simple to do. Just going all the way around, just like so. Placing water in 1.13 and like beyond is the easiest thing on the planet. Uh, so once we have that finished, which it looks like it's good there. All right. Once we have that finished, all we got to do is get the villagers up here. And technically speaking, this thing could run. Now, I don't remember if I had mentioned this in the previous part or not, but villagers can only spawn golems during very specific times of the day. It's the same time that they refresh their trades. Uh, it's in intervals of like, I think, six hours. So it would be like noon, midday, uh, nighttime. And there's like one or one or two other ones in there, I think. So what we need to do is we need to make this thing as efficient as possible that way, when the golems do start spawning, we have enough, you know, enough spawn spaces to get maximum drops. And that's why I went with this design, because uh, the video that I got the middle center from was from Il Mango, from his Skyblock series that the Psycraft guys are doing. And he was talking about 
uh, how he had gotten like double the rates when he stacked the type of farms and stuff. So I'm really, really, really hoping that we get a lot because I like free iron. So don't judge me, okay? There we go. All right, so all of the water is pretty much good to go. There we go. So water is all taken care of. Um, What are we doing over here? I don't think there's a fence gate there. Hold on, let me see if I can make another fence gate real fast. I don't know if I have one on me or not. Uh, We'll make one more. There we go. Make three more apparently or not. There we go. Come on, let me click it. All right. So that's all taken care of and all we've got to do now is just build the bottom carriage But we're gonna go ahead and move on and do something else for today. All right guys So I want to go ahead and start working on a new farm in our little storage house here because I want pumpkins I have been using a lot of glowstone as backlighting and I'm not a fan I want to go ahead and just get a pumpkin farm set up, but it's gonna be automated. I think so I'm gonna remove just a little bit here. Now, the way that I'm thinking I'm gonna set this up is I think I'm gonna set it up to run observers. So what we'll do is we'll have, um, let's say, since there's, I guess there's, I guess right here would work. So we'll have an observer. Oh, hold on. We'll have an observer here, 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 and here. Actually, I'm gonna put that back a block. I don't really like that. So, oops. All right, so observer here, here. <laughs> I'm just placing them all wrong. All right. There, there, there. Okay. So when our pumpkins grow, they'll be on soil here. And put that right there, put that right there. Put that in there. Okay. Uh, let me see if I have any bones. I do. So we'll grow those up real fast. Put that right there. Um, now, I, I'm pretty sure that the pumpkins can grow on stone, but I'm going to put them on dirt just in case. There we go. So once that uh, grows, it'll activate these two. And then from there, I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have hoppers underneath. I actually think I might use a hopper minecart. I'm not sure. You know what? Um, let's see, because we're going to have pistons on top. I need to get down a block so I can place these. Okay, right there. And so let me just break all this out of here real fast. There we go. So something like that. Like that. Breaking everything up. Can I have my piston back, please? And thank you. There we go. There we go. Okay, so something like that. So I guess the question becomes when the pumpkin grows, is it? I don't think it's going to go through the soil, but I think we can force it through the soil. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some hoppers underneath of here. There we go. And then I'll just let me grab some chests. So we're going to have to test this. And what I'll do is, is I'll just test it with like, actually, I don't think I can test it. Uh, I need some chests. Miss, put that right there. Come over here. Put that in my inventory. Okay, so we'll put this right here. And then uh, I hope there's, I don't know if there's any pumpkins outside or not. We're going to have to go get some, I think. Put those right there. All right, so when the pumpkins grow, this right here, that'll block them. The only thing is, is I'm not sure that they're going to go down. I don't know if there's any pumpkins around here or not. I really should have saved one. I didn't even think about it. Huh. Okay. So just got the way for it to grow. Uh, we're also going to need the redstone. The redstone will be pretty easy to finish though. Let me do that right now. All right. Uh, I guess to probably finish some redstone, we would probably need some, wouldn't we? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> all right so just like this um that should run all of that and then we'll just run a block up the middle just like so so there that should power both of those pistons i think if not we'll fix it put a block in between that there we go 
Now to test this, I can make a redstone torch. So wood, make some stickies, craft that. Now, one thing I can, I can guarantee that this is gonna work for one reason. Um, okay, yeah, that'll work. I done made up, oh God, I broke it. There we go. Uh, I know that this will work for a very specific reason. Um, there, because we can always put minecarts underneath of here and collect those items. A minecart hopper. So I think that'll do. Um, I'll have to test it and see how it works, but without the pumpkins actually growing, we'll have to come back and test that later. So we've got a preliminary setup here. Um, I want to go ahead and end the video here because we're running a little long. I do want to start making the videos longer, um, but I want to test this before I finalize it. So uh, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and turn those notifications for when the videos come out. This is I, Jevin. Peace out, everybody.